The camera never lies. Kitty Cam Killers. Here's Deborah Roberts. These days it seems the web is made of nothing but cute and cuddly cat videos. There's the standing cat. The cat stuck in the sleeve. The oh my god cat. Legions log on every day to get their daily dose of internet catnip. Surprised Kitty got a mind-blowing 64 million hits. But have you ever wondered what your cat is doing when you're not shooting him on your smartphone or when he's not cuddling on your lap? Dr. Sonia Hernandez did more than wonder. She went hunting for answers. I was talking to my graduate student and I said, you know, we need to know more about how these cats spend their time and what is the best way to do it. And that would be, hey, you know, putting a camera on them. That's right, Dr. Hernandez and her team at the University of Georgia turned the tables on the tabbies, making them not just the subject of the video, but the camera operators too. What was the goal, to record the secret lives of cats? You know, they are an estimated 115 million cats that roam outside, doing something to the environment that we don't know that much about. But finding a camera small and durable enough to hang around a kitty's neck was a challenge. She turned to National Geographic's Greg Marshall, the guy who invented the critter cam, taking viewers on a ride with everything from alligators to bears to squid. I called him up and I said, you know, have you ever thought about applying this to a pet cat? And he said, well, you know, funny you should mention it because I put one on my own cat recently. With kitty cam in hand, Hernandez and her team recruited 60 cat owners willing to take part. Amy Watts volunteered two of her cats, Booker T and Archie. But when she watched their dailies, she was stunned by their dangerous behavior. What did you learn from Booker T? Uh, I know what the inside of the storm sewer looks like. The kitty cam often caught cats using up their nine lives, wandering into storm drains or squeezing into crawl spaces, engaging in standoffs with possums or dogs, dodging through traffic and lapping up any liquid. They see something on the ground and they think, I will drink that because they are dumb. And, you know, who knows what's in there? Mm -hmm. Until he gets but what inside. really shocked Amy was learning that one of her cats had a big secret. He was leading a double life. Well, I found that Archie has a second home. Um, Your and, cat is cheating on you? Yes, he is. He has two families. Um, it feels like one of those daytime talk shows. You know, my cat has two families. It may all sound lighthearted, but Kitty Cam also revealed that those cute cats have a dark side. Many are cold-blooded killers. Most of us have always known that cats love to hunt, at least on the plains of the Serengeti. But it turns out there's not much difference on the lawns of suburbia. They kill, harass, chase, stalk. Cats are instinctive predators. Which was a grisly surprise to Yvette Lowen, a cat and bird lover who joined the study to see if her precious little Ursa played well with her wildlife friends. I see these birds, you know, in my yard all the time, and I enjoy them tremendously. But after downloading a day's worth of video, Yvette was appalled. I was showing a family member what it looked like, thinking, oh, you know, this is interesting. The next thing I saw was my cat with a bird that was injured. And the poor little bird was just fluttering there and knew it was gone. It knew it was gone. How so, upset were you? Enough to consider pulling her out of the study. The numbers are as disturbing as the video. Ursa's among the 44% of cats in the study who, when they aren't purring on their owner's laps, were on attempted killing sprees. A third was successful, averaging one kill for every 17 hours outdoors. He's the cutest serial killer you will ever meet. He is adorable and lethal. Amy Watts already knew cute little Booker T had a taste for blood. I, I also keep my own kill sheet of what he brings back to me. <laughs> um, with little icons of what he kills. And, and what's his favorite? Snakes. Snakes so far have been the number one thing this year. But he really likes birds. Cats are responsible for the absolute extinction of at least 33 species of birds that we know about. 
The Kitty Carnage has conservationist George Fenwick fuming. He estimates that cats on the prowl are wiping out 1.2 billion birds every year. Most of these cats are fed by humans. They're inoculated against disease. They have no predators themselves. And this all makes them a sort of super predator. With all due respect to cat owners, are cats mostly bad news? I would really say that the problems that we have with cats in our environment is really more of a human problem. We're not responsible pet owners. Cats are simply following their instinctive behaviors. So what to do? George Fenwick is proposing a hard-nosed solution. No cats, not even one of them, should be allowed to roam free. Keep your cats indoors, and if you absolutely must let your cat be outdoors sometimes, build an enclosure for those cats so they can't get out and they can't kill other wildlife. But Yvette Lowen has another idea. Her Ursa is allowed outside as long as she's wearing this bib and bell. It inhibits their forward movement in a way that maybe it gives the bird that extra three seconds that it needs to fly away. Do the other kitties in the neighborhood laugh at your kitty? <laughs> I bet the neighbors laugh at the kitty. <laughs> so do you feel more comfortable now that the birds in your yard are safer? Oh yeah. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm much happier. And so the birds and chipmunks can sleep a bit more peacefully tonight. At least the ones in Yvette's backyard.